The UNS 5N is overdue for a tank update and I want to show you all the progress on the macroalgae and what's going on with Sebastian, our purple reef lobster. Let's check it out. What's going on reefers? Welcome back to another episode. My name's Blaine. This is the King Tide Corals channel. It's been a minute since we've made a video. I went live the past couple weeks. It was a lot of fun. I want to say thank you to everyone who tuned in. I want to hear down in the comments if you guys tuned in and if you did, if you guys enjoyed it and want to see more. I really liked it. It was fun chatting live with you guys. It was just really different feel for the channel. Now for this week's video, we're going to be going over what's happening with the UNS 5N. There's a lot of changes for this macroalgae tank. It's changed from the macro shorelines to now the lobster's lair. It's a really fun new tank idea, and I think this invert, the purple reef lobster, is the perfect fit for a macroalgae tank to kind of showcase one of the really fun inverts in our aquarium hobby. Now, let's go ahead, jump right into it, check out the macroalgae tank, and see what's going on. The macro shorelines has changed ultimately to the lobster lair. This tank has become one of my favorite tanks, and as I've talked about before, this project has been really cool to bring me into a new style of reefing. And it's been fun to meet new people through this style of reefing and kind of pick their brains and how they feel about tanks. And kind of something I've mentioned before is that these tanks I feel have such a more natural look and feel to them. You know, much like freshwater scapes, they have a very more, you know, scape mentality, really focused on aquascaping and creating a natural look. Whereas sometimes in reefs, we're focused on corals and the fish and other things. Whereas, you know, you kind of forget about creating a natural environment for the things that they're living in here. But let's go ahead and update you guys on what's been going on with the tank. There's some mangroves in the back. They're doing pretty well. Um, I added some propagals. Uh, they're doing good. Uh, little babies, add them straight in, and I think they're pretty happy for the time being. As for the macroalgae, everything seems pretty happy. Uh, I know the red high has kind of really taken off right up here up front. There's some red grape that's hidden underneath in there, but overall, the tank is really kind of blossoming. Uh, the Calerpa prolifera had gone sexual a little bit in this tank. Um, I pulled all those out and then I'm starting to see, obviously, a lot of new growth. Um, in the front here, I'll show you right off the go, is this really cool clam. He's actually sticking out his feeder right now. You can see it. Um, and it's a really sweet new invert addition to the tank. You can also see the lobster hanging out in the back. That's also the main attraction to the show. but. The clam that we picked up from the local fish store, uh, they didn't have a species. I'll pop a species name up on the uh, screen. I grabbed it from Ryan at Odd Animals and Corals. He had ordered some. But it's a clam that they had gotten, God, they said about a year ago, and it disappeared in their store. They couldn't find it. They had gotten a couple. Some of them died. Some of them got bought, and a couple of them just disappeared. And I guess about a week ago, some of them turned up. I saw it in their store and I was like, I gotta have that. I gotta grab that and I think it'll look really cool in the macro algae tank. So we snagged that and I think it's doing really well in the tank. Cleanup crew's doing well. Got some snails in here. Got a couple of hermits, a couple blue legs. And then also the copepods are blowing up in this tank. So that's a great example of cleanup crew for a macro algae tank because they're gonna be really focused on the micro algae that's gonna be in your system. As for the main star of the show, we have the purple reef lobster. This guy has become one of my favorites in the office, to be honest, because there's just so many fun opportunities to feed him. I've really enjoyed feeding him and showing him on Instagram. If you guys are following me, I'm sure you've seen a lot of my videos and reels that I've made recently showing him and feeding him. But that guy is definitely the star of this tank and it has changed the tank's name from the macro shorelines to now the lobster's lair. So it's a much more fitting name for the tank. Overall though, the tank in my opinion looks really good. It's starting to fill in, everything's starting to grow and there's some things we want to change and do. Over here in the corner though, where we see Sebastian kind of hanging out, coming out, um, I would really like to add a 
worm kind of garden up here in the front. But I'm gonna go ahead and show off Sebastian now since he's out, ah, of course, and then he dies back in. But right up here in the front, I'd really like to do a uh, feather duster worm garden. I think it'd be really cool on the right side if we just focus directly on feather dusters. You guys know me, I love worms. I think they're really cool, especially feather duster worms. So I think it'd be a great addition to the tank. But overall, this system has been amazing to have and it's been really a great joy in the office. But there's a little update for you all on what's been going on with the King Tide Corals macroalgae tank that is now the lobster lair. Overall, I'll say this build has been one of my favorites. This is the build that originally got me into the macroalgae scene per se. This is the first build that I used to do the macro shorelines. And now that I've kind of gotten a taste of macroalgae and what it can bring to a tank, I've really fallen in love with it and I've taken it to kind of the next level and I've really wanted to kind of chase after more and see what I can do with these scapes and these tanks. Now, I'm really excited about this tank. I'm excited about the Pico but I'm very happy with what's going on with the Lagoon and just all the tanks and the bowl in general. It's been really fun updating you guys on the macroalgae project. It's really cool to chat with you guys too about macroalgae. I know it's a niche kind of tank style, but I think there's a lot more popping up. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments. I'm really happy we were able to tune in with you guys, check in and talk reef. It's been a little while since we made a video, but until next week, reefers, happy reefing.